What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco at the front coming at you with another reaction video. We got 25 times Canelo Alvarez show perfect skill. In my opinion, Mr. Saul, Canelo Alvarez is number one pound for pound in the world, bro. I don't watch boxing like that, but I know for a fact he's the face of boxing. And the dude is cold, bro. Dude is raw. Like, oh my gosh, sheer power. Just when I saw him fall, Jacobs, that uh, uh, skinny black dude, bro, Canelo was Canelo like five six. That Jacobs dude had to be like six foot. Canelo just picking his ass apart. Canelo fought a light heavyweight, went up there, knocked his ass out through the ropes. Canelo is a dog, bro. Let's see what goes down. Welcome back, fight fans, to another video here on the fights game. It is Shout typical out to the for the general game, bro. criterion in becoming a great fighter to be skilled. If there's any fighter out there, who there is this the fight I'm talking most, about. It's Canelo Alvarez. The four weight world champion with over 50. That's the dude, other dude I'm talking about knocking through the ropes and stuff. <laughs> has hey, boy, Nello. Collection of highlight That's what I'm going to call him. I'm going to call him Nello. Moments in his near 15 year career. In this video, we take a look at 25 of those moments and we explain the mechanics behind such movements which aided this Canelo, man, Canelo Alvarez in pursuit bro. of a victory inside the ring. Canelo Alvarez's bout against Austin Trout provided the perfect podium for Canelo to showcase his skills. Right. Canelo showed slick defense throughout, but it was in round five when Canelo turned into a defensive showman. A jab, a jab. Left hand gets in. This is a unreal smooth. Oh, watch that. Oh, watch that. This is one of many defensive showcases in the career of Canelo That man turned his whole shoulder. What if he would have hit him in the back of the head and like knocked him out? That same fight. Me? <laughs> Wobbly the legs, got him chicken legs, chicken legs. Here Canelo dips slightly down and drops his left hand to tell Trout he's going to throw a jab in an attempt to draw a trading jab from Trout, of which he slipped with the smallest of margins. God, and then slipped the guard with a piercing It's crazy how much thought goes into this. Excellent method of attack. If I go out there and fight, bro, I'm just. I'm just throwing his, bro. I ain't thinking nothing about it. I'm finna bank this so he can hit. Man, I'm finna go out there, you know, just straight swing, bro. It's, it's wild on how the science behind the fighting. Canelo showed maturity in his fight against Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto. With defensive and offensive moments. Oh, this man. But it was this sequence in round seven that impressed me the most. On Freddie Roach. Freddie Roach is... Oh, uppercut. steps back to evade Cotto's right hand. <laughs> Then stands his ground to let he, go of a right man, up. Watch out. Then shows defensive My responsibility yeah. by rolling the left hook. Canelo's fight versus Chavez <laughs> Jr. turned out to be a gross mismatch. Yeah. Canelo was superior in I heard every about this possible fight. way, but this punch in round five never fails to impress. Oh. A textbook slip of a lazy jab, then the he response of a sharp <clears throat> right hand. Over the top. Mayweather hit Canelo with that. He Backs to the Austin Bang. Trout fight. This snappy jab was perfectly executed. Because Trout shook his hand and said, no. Oh, knocked the sweat off his head. The jab from down low after two slips, landing perfectly. Bro, I low-key want to box, Lovkin, bro. Canelo managed to land one of the cleanest punches of his career after pushing Golovkin off of him. Oh, shit. I remember this. Look at Canelo's face. How the hell? By rolling his head, but an impressive How the hell did Triple G stand Canelo's after that hit, bro? James Kirkland started quick. Bro, did you see how much power came from that hit? He <clears throat> head went like that. He still standing, bro. GGG is a tank. Triple G is a tank. Because if that was me, my ass would have... I would have been out of there, bro. Knocked ass out. But his knockout in round Face down, three, ass up the on the canvas. Second knockdown. Right Me? Watch here how Canelo touches Kirkland to the body. Touch that body. Ah, oh, see, let me defend the body. Psych! Defense to protect Boo. against the body shots. And this leaves an opening to the head. This man, which Canelo. Canelo takes advantage of with a strong right hook to the jaw. Mm. Canelo sells the deceptive face. And then duck, and then duck his head. And head level. But with his eyes too. Notice how he actually looks to Kirkland's body as he touches with the lead hand. This is a perfect execution. I know the refs be. And the I know they be grimacing and stuff being that close to the hits, bro. 
Although it's probably the most documented knockout of Canelo Alvarez's career, we can always so admire the technicality Khan. behind the knockout of Amir Khan. Oh, his head smack. I hate that, bro. I hate how they head smacks the canvas like that, bro. You can die from that. He was anticipating a following body shot. So in round six, mm. Canelo didn't throw a body shot. He do a laser like straight right Man. to the chin. This knockout was ironically not about power, but intelligence and skill. Yeah, got to got to confuse him a little bit. For his Sugar Shane. Capabilities. This body punch against Shane Mosley is one of his favorite combinations. <laughs> the fainted right uppercut makes an opening around the side. This man did an uppercut hook. I ain't never I don't Another think I seen that before. Of this great That's weird. I'm throwing it myself. His first world title fight against Matthew Hatton. Gonna be some classic oh, war in his future. Yeah, hurt, hurt left hand yeah. to the body. Take good notice of the full rotation in his head. There you go, uppercut hooks. The rematch between Canelo and Golovkin was a great battle between two high-performance middleweight warriors. Thanks. But in round two, Canelo landed his greatly deceptive left hook. Smile! Canelo starts Pop his head up like a pistol. To the body. This makes Golovkin's hands drop Okay, low, see, be like that. Canelo then comes and up then he, with a hook to hmm, the head. Okay, 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 I'm going to use that. Canelo also hmm. uses his move set to set up the yeah. knockout of Sergei Kovalev. Oh, this the dude I was talking about, the Sergei Kovalev dude. He a light heavyweight. Once again, Canelo starts low to pretend he's going to the body. Then comes ah, the bro, that will fuck me up. Oh my Canelo gosh, that will mess me up. defense is no secret. He's always <laughs> had some of the best. <laughs> ah, I need to go to a boxing gym or something. But in the Daniel Jacobs fight, we really saw a particular finesse to his head movement. He was messing Jacobs this up, bro. Impressive series in round four, which he just playing with him. He who watches it. In his fight versus Kermit Syndrome, Canelo set up a left hook by ducking down low before it. Mm. It's an unconventional but shrewd way to set up a hook. We go to the improved version of Canelo in the Daniel Jacobs fight, where he does this same setup. <laughs> too caught his ass. He hit him. It's too late to shoulder roll now, bro. He already, he already done caught you. It's a sneaky setup, that's for sure. In the James Kirkland fight, Canelo dropped an already wounded Kirkland with a beautiful uppercut. And coming back, oh shit! Uppercut's got to be the most brutal punch. Uppercut thrown under Kirkland's jab. Move. That degree perfect trajectory. It hit the, it hit his, the side of his face unless, instead of under his back sword. to leave Kirkland fall into the uppercut. Canelo's liver shot against Liam Smith is the whole. God, he gonna make him take a knee. He gonna make him take a knee. Give me that. <laughs> a left knee. hook to the head, then a left hook around the side to the liver. <laughs> Made that knee touch the canvas. Will you marry me? This body shot from Canelo in the confight is one of my personal favorites. Oh, Canelo shit. Like two they, they hurt my own shoulders, shit. Then lands a right he uppercut in return. Mm. Miles rotating his shoulders back in position. Something Cut, similar to that he was seen it, in the Kovalev fight. Yeah, Hello, be throwing him hard, bro. Watch out, he overextended, then throws a right uppercut. Underneath. Bro, if he would have uppercut it to his chin, bro, he would have been asleep. You seen how Kovalev was going like that? Uppercut against Alfredo and Gulo is material for an eye-catching highlight reel. Ooh, the refs saying he has enough. He's out. You know who be throwing them up because Javante Davis. He One fight, I seen him throw like five up because in a row. Canelo also did this move in the Miguel Cotto fight. Only a small select few of boxers have been able to do this move in the ring. This nine punch combination. Nine punch combination. Lopez is one of his most flashiest. It's Canelo's fluid rotation in his upper body, which enables him to throw such a combination. Canelo's stoppage of Alfonso Gomez also entailed some brilliant upper body rotation. Canelo up and under, and then a big right cross across the top. Gomez is badly hurt. Canelo's got a chance to finish. 
Canelo wields maximum power from the tour. That is some human punching bag shit. He stood there and was like, bro, you my punching bag right now. Bro. Canelo's slim right hand counter is seen many times in his fights, but it doesn't get any cleaner than this one against Miguel Cotto. Oh, I felt that one myself. Just enough to slip the punch. And he returns fast. Back to the fight with Angulo. Watch Canelo deflect a punch and return with one of his own. Watch out, bro. <laughs> Watch. Oh, he, he hit it with that same hand. He then from that position, mm. he managed to throw an uppercut. As you can see, Canelo is a very skillful boxer. Only time will show us what we're yet to see from Canelo Alvarez in the boxing ring. That brings a close to this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, consider giving it a like as it helps us grow the channel. Hey, go and like their channel. I'll put the channel, the uh, link to the original video down in the description. Shout out Canelo Alvarez, man. He my second favorite boss. My first favorite is the boy Earl Spence, the troop. Hometown boy and troop with D. But Canelo, my second favorite. And I think he number one pound for pound. Give me some more video, boxing videos to react to, man. I like reacting to fighting videos in general, man. Subscribe to my channel. Give me to uh, a thousand subscribers, man. Like, come subscribe, comment down below. Reaction next time out.